First and foremost, there's a, a robust design ecosystem in India today, existing um, design ecosystem, and, and that device uh, suppliers or, if you will, smartphone or IoT suppliers are going through a pretty strong technology transition from a 2G, 3G environment to a 4G environment. And that's, of course, where we come in um, as a world leader in 4G and become quite strong. So the mechanisms that we are using to help uh, drive that um, design ecosystem is a pretty big R&D environment here in India. So we're utilizing or leveraging that R&D environment to provide access to labs. There's a lot of intricacies that need to be done for a device, um, a, a smartphone device, camera tuning, um, radio tuning, um, application tuning, things of that nature. And we are providing a lot of resources to enable that and do that. There will be a lot of verticals that benefit from the utilization of connectivity. So when I think about agriculture, I think about um, measurement and metrics, how to manage water flow as an example, how to manage feed as an example. Um, and so the opportunity to do all of those things through a connected level device, um, IoT would bring that enablement into agriculture. Making sure that that connectivity, thinking about agriculture by default, it's in a rural environment, right? A farming type environment. And so making sure that the connectivity, the network reach is there is obviously challenge number one. I think that's a challenge that occurs in many corners of the world. You have a limited number of doctors and a limited number of facilities. And so to be able to reach a mass amount of people effectively, it can't be done on a one-to-one -one basis. What IoT brings once again is a you know rapid information so you can have information on a patient available um, to the doctor or the facility to review two you can obviously be able to have remote transmission remote transmission of a particular uh, activity an accident an illness a disease a reading of a diagnostic etc just as you think about a, a something as simple as a text message or a whatsapp message Think about you know the communication of information being just as rapid and just as fast and so instead of attaching a picture you know you're attaching a diagnostic and so that I think that the opportunity there is endless think about India think about some of the challenges that we face every day as a country um, clearly there's an infrastructure issue this is not again not not totally unique to India so you jump over that need to build infrastructure by having a wireless connectivity. And then that wireless connectivity, if you think about metering, you think about monitoring, you think about energy efficiency, you think about um, a variety of, of metric management, by having that connectivity in a one-to-many, point-to-multipoint environment, then it just makes the whole service and serviceability just much more eloquent and smooth and frankly cost-effective. And even more than that, enabled. There's no way it could be enabled through any other infrastructure but through wireless connectivity. Qualcomm as a company has invested very early in India. We have a 20-year history here. We have a significant and very important part of our employee base doing development work in a variety of locations in the country, Bangalore, Hyderabad, Noida, Chennai, uh, Mumbai, Delhi. And so I think that that continues and will continue to be of high relevance and very important um, for us as a company. Uh, no, nothing but growth coming there. Then shifting over to the actual utilization of our products. If you think about what we do, right, we're R&D for the world. We enable wireless connectivity. Wireless connectivity matches up very, very well to a couple of the extremely significant initiatives of the government. The government of registration of people, the government initiative of Digital India, the government initiative of Make in India. All of those activities are enabled by products that we make at Qualcomm. And by products, I'm really referring to technology. Our technology becomes productized. 
productized in smartphones, productized in 4G feature phones, productized in IoT type of products, productized in software services. So all of that is highly relevant for what is going on in India today. The transition of G's from a 2G, 3G environment to a 4G environment is a glove fit for what we supply as a company and as a leader now in the next G or 5G transition. And I think it's with high confidence that we will be an active participant in that in India.